fabulously creative welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be setting up the next week in my journal i'm going to skip saturday and sunday but i'm going to try and pre-prep the pages so each day it's already ready for me to journal and i am going to in my last video let me see in my last video, I used mostly my um, these Crayola Super Tip markers because I I wasn't I was um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do the acrylics, but I think I want to experiment with the acrylic this week just to see how it holds up on this paper and just the overall effect. And I think I think each week I'm going to kind of experiment. Because I am new to the whole Bonici, I normally just um, do like a DIY journal and do it for the month. And I can kind of change each month depending on what's going on. But I'm doing a challenge where I'm going to stick to this for an entire six months. So let me get these pages all set up and then we shall, we shall see.
All right, and we are back after a few days with the after the pin because I do, I've um, been trying to do like the basic layout a few days before or that's how I did it in the past. It's something about starting or trying to journal and get your thoughts when the page is blank. So I do like to have something on the page. So I tried or I attempted to use these acrylic paints and it does not work well on this paper. It wrinkled the paper all up and I just don't like this layout. It feels more like a planner instead of a journal. So I don't know, this page, this side is okay because I had this quote and I cut it into little pieces. So this side was kind of okay, but this side just felt like a planner page or it's kind of like my planning style. And I want this to feel a little different than my planner. So that one did not work. This For this page, I tried painting the acrylic on sticker paper first. And that worked, it worked out okay. It did, like the page didn't wrinkle, but it doesn't make much of a difference. And I think I'm struggling with the uh, little Hobonichi words at the bottom. I don't know why, I just wanna cover it up for some reason. But I do like the way this page turned out. This is kind of like my normal to do journaling style i usually have a title something that happened that day a little quote a little collage and then like something else random and then this page i don't know i, I had a lot to write this day and the thing i love about the hobonichi i love the little grid i don't know the grid kind of you can write extremely tiny or kind of like my normal style and this is my style when i'm trying to it, well, I don't know, my writing gets smaller when I have a lot of thoughts to get out, but I really do like the page, the way this page turned out. And I was just writing, I was just, I don't know, just in a very sensitive mood that day. It was like, at the top, I wrote, not even the library could pull me out of this mood. So that was that day. And these pages, I actually liked, but they need, I don't know, it just needs more color. And again, this is kind of like my normal to do. I'll write something, then something else random happens during the day and I'll jot that down too. And then this page, I really like, I cleaned up my craft room, not cleaned it up, but I changed, I reorganized it. And I was just talking about how reorganizing my craft room helps me reset my energy and get into a positive mood. And I think that is the, yeah, that's the, that's the last yeah, that's the last page that I did in this particular setup. So I'm still trying to find my rhythm with this. And I'm try mainly trying to find out if I'm going to set up my pages ahead of time or just journal on the fly. And when I try to just journal on the fly, I end up just skipping days. But if it's already decorated and lay laid out, I will just stop and jot down a few thoughts from that day. So I'm still trying to find find my rhythm with that but I hope you enjoyed this journal with me setup and I will I will see how this goes because I'm not sure if I'll be sharing setups or if I'll just do like a final flip through but anyway I hope you have enjoyed this and don't forget to like comment and subscribe